YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back, it's me, it's your boy. So today, I wanted to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time. How do I start YouTube? Or how do you start YouTube? What do you use? I see questions all the time, like what editor do I use? How do I avoid getting DMCA'd with music? I wanna play music, but I don't wanna get copyright strike. And that's all understandable. How do I make like motion graphics and stuff like that and add it into the video? How do I make thumbnails? And how do I do this and all this stuff? So today I compiled a list of six six free tools that's right you heard that correctly six free tools to help you get started on your youtube journey so today we're going to talk about those and i'm going to explain a little bit of what each one does here so let's just get into it first we're going to start with editing software so a lot of people in the industry or in youtube and filmmaking or whatever predominantly you hear two names you hear adobe premiere or you hear apple's final cut pro and those are two basically the big names those are two the main editors that like big youtubers and filmmakers they use there are two free alternatives that I found that are very good to use. One of them I'm using now and the other one I just recently found out about that after looking into it actually provides an enormous amount of promise. And if it does what they say it does, that may become my main editor. I'm not totally sure yet. I am. I just downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and see if it's as user friendly and as less complicated as the other big two that I mentioned. Because when it comes down to an editor, you want to make your footage look as good as possible, but you don't don't necessarily have to spend 300 plus dollars to do that and get all these plugins and buy LUTs and everything else that you know probably just doesn't make sense to someone who's not really in the filmmaking but wants to make videos. Let's just jump into it. The first one I want to talk about is DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve is a professional editing system that like massive Hollywood blockbuster studios use and it's free. So they do have a free version and they have a paid version which is like um, DaVinci Pro. Basically unless you want to work with 3D you don't really need to spend the 200 to I think it's 200 like $69 you don't really need to spend all that just get the free version it still comes with fusion which is like their version of adobe after effects and you can do motion graphics in it and all this other stuff it does have a bit of a learning curve fusion is radically different than after effects or apple motion or any of the other uh, motion graphics software out there especially like cinema 4d which i don't think anyone has cinema 4d because that's like five thousand dollars it's quick it's simple it's easy to use it's straight to the point it's what i'm currently doing all my edits on now is what this video will be edited on and so that is just one thing that i did want to you know just kind of bring up it is owned by black magic so if anyone's familiar with the black magic camera lineup um they ended up buying da vinci and made it free for everybody to use so if you're looking for a good simple quick editor to make quick edits or just add a little you know pizzazz or maybe like a subscribe button that's gonna that probably already popped up here up it should be like the right hand corner or whatever um you can do stuff like that in it and it's actually really cool so the other one i wanted to talk about is is film or a nine so i just found out about this and going through the list here it actually it appears to be extremely user friendly that it has motion graphics built in it has LUTs built in and basically LUTs just means color grading um making the video like match the color around it or maybe you want to make it more vibrant make the clouds look more realistic maybe it's a little the, you know the low light exposure is a little off so you can kind of correct that here also a bit of a disclaimer with filmora here unfortunately if you do get the free version it does have a watermark which can be a little annoying um it's ultimately up to you if that bothers you enough in your videos that is something you can just consider so for the paid version or to own it outright it's 150 dollars and to buy it annually is 89 dollars it doesn't really make sense to pay for it annually because 90 dollars if you roll over to the next year now you're looking at 180 now you spent 30 more dollars so that's just something to take into consideration um there's a lot of things in the software that i'm actually quite impressed about and it's free now again with davinci they do have a paid version I don't necessarily know if you need the pro version. Um, if you're not that skilled in editing or skilled in filmmaking, there's no point in buying it. It doesn't make sense to buy the pro version when the free version offers more than enough for your current skill set in editing. It's these two editors are something to look into. I know there's some other free editors floating around, like if you, have, you know, like Windows Movie Maker or like iMovie. Don't get me wrong, those are very entry level editors. And if you want to use those, that's great. Understand that they do come with a lot of limitations. Now there are exceptions to the rules. There 
are some people that have made incredible films inside of iMovie, but they've also mastered every aspect of it. So if you want to take the time to learn that, that's fine. I would just definitely recommend using Resolve or Filmora 9. Um, those are the best options, most user-friendly. Get in, you know, export it, 1080p, 4K, whatever. Get in and get out. Another big issue that I mentioned earlier is the DMCA's and basically copyright sharing. Basically, you're taking copyrighted material that doesn't belong to you and you're putting it in your videos as if you created it or is that if you own the IP, which is intellectual property, and then you're distributing it as your own and if you're monetized in the YouTube partnership program, you're basically monetizing that content so you make a profit and the original studio or artist doesn't. Something I recently just discovered and I honestly did not know this is that if you have a YouTube channel, it doesn't matter what your subscribers are at, YouTube actually has a free audio library. I am not kidding. Thousands of copyright free music that you can use in your video. Now, some of them do require you to credit the artist, which is fine, but it's free to use. Thousands of songs at your disposal. I myself currently am using Epidemic Sounds, but I'm running out of music that I haven't already used. Their library isn't that big, unfortunately. So I'm probably gonna shift over to YouTube Audio, or maybe I'll try some of the other paid subscription services. But as of right now, I'm gearing away from Epidemic Sounds. It's kind of you're running out of music that I can that makes sense to add into the video. Another really cool one is made by a fellow YouTuber by his current channel is Alpha Gaming. Currently goes by the name of Harris Heller. He saw a massive problem in the streaming and the YouTube community. Everyone's getting DMCA takedown, channels are getting deleted, careers are being destroyed. What could he do to help both communities? He created Stream Beats completely free copyright music that he gets royalties on from big streaming platforms like Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, the whole nine. But it's free for you and I to use as much as we want, as many times as we want. So thank you, Harris, for that. That's an enormous help. Um, DMCAs are scary, especially people who work for years to get their YouTube channel built up just for it to get taken away. He's currently building his new record label, uh, Senpai Records, which will be making more original free copyright music for us to use. Be on the lookout for that if you do enjoy what you hear. That's just another really cool thing. So say you get done, say you're vlogging and you just get done with this vlog and you're like, man, you know what would be really sick? If I had some B-roll, maybe some drone shots flying over LA, New York City, Austin, Orlando, Miami, Seattle, wherever, right? Tokyo. And you're like, I really just want some really sick B-roll. Maybe I don't live in any of these major places. Maybe I just want an aerial shot of a forest or a beach. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific, but I don't want to pay for these big subscription services that cost like three, four hundred dollars a year. So what do I do? Pixel. Pixel is a free online site uploaded by filmmakers for filmmakers. They upload free B-roll footage, stock footage, of, and photography for anything basically you can imagine. Now understand that a lot of this isn't going to be amazing. You will find some really amazing high quality B-roll photography, A-roll stuff like that if you need it but you also are gonna find amateur stuff too so just sort through what you need and it's all copyright free for you to add and use in your videos it's kind of amazing really because a lot of people don't own a drone they don't know how to do b-roll they don't know how to do like cinematic shots but you don't have to you can just simply download the cinematic footage and you're good to go and that's it it's definitely a free option for you to look into and these are things that definitely help you maybe take your videos to the next level and amplify that to retain audience to retain a viewership, the whole nine, everything us YouTubers need to grow. So last but not least, you're probably wondering, how do I make thumbnails? How do I get animations in my videos? How do I make a subscribe button pop up? I don't want to put in any of the time or the work. I don't want to take the time to learn it. That's where Canva comes into play. Canva has a thumbnail maker, graphics maker, animation maker, everything wrapped into one or free. Now, again, it does have a paid subscription service and some of these you will have to pay for. Just pick out the free ones that you want, activate the green screen in the back, match the green screen and whatever editor you're using, and there you go. A fun, simple way to go ahead to help you make more thumbnails, more animations, things to just level up the quality of your videos. So I do have another video coming out and you're probably thinking, well, Cody, I still need a camera to make videos. What camera should I use and stuff like that? I have another video coming out where I explain what camera you should be using to make YouTube videos with. That's in an upcoming video. I'm still gathering my thoughts on that, gathering the necessary components to make that video happen. So be on the lookout for that, but let me know. Are you going to use any of these? Are, is any of this piquing your interest? Are you going to use Resolve? Are you going to use Filmora 9? Are you going to use YouTube Audio, Stream Beats? Are you going to use Pexel? Are you going to use 
can vote. Maybe there's sites that I don't know about that you're currently using that are free. I know there's a ton of paid subscription services out there and I am gonna make a video on what the best ones are to use and stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that video as well. But let me know, are you gonna make YouTube videos? Are you going to use anything that I recommended here? Do you have other things that you use? Let's have a conversation about it. Maybe there's items that I could use to help my own videos, which is great. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe, send this video out to absolutely everyone you know. Let it run in the background. I love you all. Your support has been incredible. I hope to see you soon. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.